Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and trying out the new Bucks and Full on Plumping Matte Lip Colors. You guys know here on my channel, I have had a, you know, I have a long relationship with Buxom. I love to review their lip products when they come out with new collections. And today we're gonna to be testing it out because they came with 10 different lip colors. It is running for $22. And basically it's supposed to be a really velvety, sweet finish, matte finish, but still really comfortable on the lips, hydrating all at the same time, pigmented with a plumping effect. And so today we're gonna to be trying them out. We're gonna try on the five lip colors that I picked up for today's video. We're gonna see how pigmented is it? What is the plumping effect like? Is it actually worth it? What is the whole situation? when it comes to these lip colors and I hope you guys enjoy today's video everything will be listed down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's jump on in and try them on so the packaging for Buxom hasn't changed. I think they always stay true and true with their branding, and this is basically it. It does have a Joe Foot applicator, but to be really honest, I'm not a huge fan of the Joe Foot applicators. I wish it was a little bit more spongy. I do find them to be a little hard and stiff. Nonetheless, I am happy it is a Joe Foot applicator. As for a scent, girl, it smells like vanilla. It's a little strong for my liking. I wish it was a little bit softer, the scent, but overall, what matters the most, at least, is the lip product itself. And the first lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on is called catching rays described on their website as a soft beige lip shade and this is basically it i really like the little pop of color i feel like this is perfect for springtime you can even apply this on the center of your lips to give your lip a little bit of that pout that ombre effect and so far by swatching this lip shade on the back of my hand it does swatch on a little streaky i'm not sure if it's the formula or if it's the dofa applicator i will let you guys know once i apply it on and maybe press my lips together to kind of like even everything out so i'll keep you guys posted but so far the formula feels really Really hydrating really comfortable it doesn't feel like it's drying down too quickly after swatching in the back of my hand which I personally love because it means it's gonna be really comfortable it's gonna be not so drying on the lips and that is absolutely what we want something comfortable but still give us that like matte finish on our lips so I'm gonna quickly remove the, the lip shade that I currently have on the lip combo and then we'll jump on in and try on it catching rays I have a removed the lip combo let's go ahead and jump on in and try on it catching rays I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of the lips and look how bright it is it's definitely gonna give me like 60 like 60s vibes for sure like vintage like I had you don't typically see people wear this lip color but it's definitely a statement if I would wear this I'd probably wear it with like a chocolate brown or taupey lip liner just to line my lips and give a little bit more dimension so it just doesn't blend into my skin <laughs> So this is Catching Feelings, and to be honest, I really like this lip shade. It's pretty. I wouldn't wear it alone. I would wear it with either a taupey lip liner or something a little bit more chocolate brown, a little bit more nude, just so I can give my lips a little bit more dimension and I can outline everything, just because I feel like my lips kind of disappear. <laughs> and I'm not a huge fan of that. I definitely feel like I have vintage girl vibes, like I feel like I'm back in the 60s or something. I don't know. I personally like this lip shade again. I feel like this is a perfect like spring, summertime lip shade. It gives you a little pop of color. I love the neutral undertone that it has. It feels really creamy, hydrating on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all. And it does take a moment for it to dry it down. It does have a minty refreshing feeling. I do not feel a taking in sensation whatsoever and I've been sitting here for a good little minute. So I'll let you guys know maybe in the next few shades how I'm feeling about the whole plumping effect. But nonetheless, this does apply on sheer. So keep that in mind. You're gonna find yourself wanting to layer this on or likely to wanna layer this on. It does apply on a little streaky. And when you press your lips together, it tends to separate, so I'm not a huge fan of that so far, but I do love this lip shade. It's really pretty. So let's move on to lip shade number two. The second lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on. This one is called Chill Night, and this is described on their website as a spiced cinnamon. And I absolutely love this lip shade. Like, I feel like this is such a pretty nude. It's probably a little darker. It's probably going to look a little dark on the lips, but I personally really like it. And especially since it slightly looks like it's applying on a sheer, I probably will end up really liking it even more. <laughs> but this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade. I love the undertone that it has. It has a unique undertone, perfect everyday type of a lip shade. So I'm going to go ahead and dive on in and apply on... This lip color starting in the center of my lips. And again, it literally looks like my natural lip color. I'm just gonna go ahead and press my lips together. Let's see how it transfers over. And so far it transfers really nicely. Again, I, this is a light layer. So for Chill Night, I did apply on two layers of this lip shade just so you can see for yourself on how it can actually look on. But it's a really pretty lip color. Again, I feel like it's a perfect everyday type of lip shade. It looks like my natural lip color, 
but a little bit better. Feels really creamy, really hydrating on my lips. It doesn't feel sticky, and I honestly don't feel like I have anything on. So, so far, so good. Plumping effect. I don't feel it, girl. I don't feel it. <laughs> Where did it go? It has a fresh, minty feeling sensation, but I don't feel like the plumping effect is kicking in quite yet. So let's move on to lip shade number three. The third lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on. This one is called Dolly, described on their website as a universal mauve lip shade. And let me tell you, it's a perfect everyday type of lip color. I feel like everyone should have a mauve lip shade in their collection, even if it's not a color you naturally run to. I feel like it's good to have. You just never know when you need it, when you want a little bit of pop color to change things up. It's really, really nice. I feel like you can just throw it on and be on the go. So I'm gonna go in with Dolly and apply it on my lips or in the center of my lips and then working my way through. And so far it's really pretty lip shade. It looks like my natural lip color, I feel. Dolly, I love Dolly. It is really pretty, a perfect everyday type of lip shade. It looks like my natural lip color, but better, a little pop of color. And I just really love how comfortable it feels on the lips. Not as streaky as the others, to be really honest. It was easier to layer on at this lip shade. When I press my lips together, I don't see the formula separating. So, so far, so good when it comes to Dolly. But I absolutely love it. Am I the only one when I think of Dolly? I think of like Dolly Parton, and I'm not a huge country person like country music lover but when I think of Dolly I think of Dolly Parton and it makes me I really like her <laughs> anyways you guys let's move on to lip shade number four brunching is our fourth lip shade we're going to go ahead and jump on into and this is described on their website as a brown peach lip shade and let me tell you something about this lip color gives me like year-round vibes like you can wear this fall winter time it has a little pop of color but in the most neutral way I don't know, something about it is really pretty. You can easily wear this during the summer or springtime. It's just because it's vibrant, but in the neutral way at the same time that I feel like you can dress it up or down, just depending on your mood, which I love a lip shade like that. Let's go ahead and try on this lip color. I'm gonna start in the center of my lips and look how pigmented it is. It actually is really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and finish and applying it on. Let's press our lips together. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now, surprisingly, brunching is a really pretty lip shade. I actually really like it. I can honestly see myself wearing this lip shade again, but maybe by itself, maybe with a lip liner or something, but I absolutely love it. It has a really pretty peachy brown undertone, which I love, and I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. Again, I can actually see this wearing this during the day, even for work, because even though it has a slight pop of color, it's in the most subtle way, and it just gives you the right amount of pigmentation, which I personally love. So let's move on to our last and final lip color. Now for the last and final lip shade, this one is called Road Trippin, described on their website as a toffee brown lip shade and let me tell you it definitely has a toffee like this is a perfect description for this lip shade it's really pretty it's a perfect everyday type of a lip color if you like something a little bit more chocolate brown mixed milk chocolate I feel like you'll end up really liking this lip shade I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it on me but it is really nice and I definitely can see myself if I wear this I'd probably pair it with like a lighter lip color on the center of the lips so I can give my lips a little bit more dimension so I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in and apply this on and it definitely is a really pigmented look at it I actually kind of like it on my lips so far i'm really excited to see how it looks like like entirely on <laughs> You know, road tripping, I actually really love this lip shade. I was worried that I wasn't going to like it on, but I changed my mind. I like it. It's really pretty on. I feel like it works with my skin complexion. Very unique undertone. I don't think I have a lip color quite like this one in my collection, even though I have tons of lip colors and I probably have it something close to it in there. But I really love the formula, you guys. It's really comfortable. It feels hydrating. I love the fact that it takes a while for it to dry it down, so that means it's not going to be over drying on the lips. And I love the velvety matte finish that it has. It feels lightweight, like it feels powdery and soft. The only downside is some of these lip shades, I think it was mainly the lighter shades that I picked, were applied on a little patchy, not as pigmented as I would have liked. It was lip colors you definitely have to layer on to really get the most pigmentation out of them so that's the only thing you just have to understand that some of them might apply on a little sheer and so you might have to work a little bit more and wait a little bit longer to layer on it maybe a second layer when you press your lips together for some of them it did separate the formula the formula did separate so that's the only thing the plumping effect you guys I'm still waiting for it. It has not kicked in. I've been wearing these for a good minute while filming this video and to be honest 
I'm not feeling any tingling sensation. I feel like a minty refreshing feeling, but it's in the most lightest, most subtle way that I almost have to like look for it and you shouldn't have to look for it. Especially since it's supposed to be plumping, it should be, should be able to feel it. So unfortunately, I don't feel like it has a plumping effect whatsoever. I loved the fact that, you know, it does have a Dofa applicator. I didn't need to use a lip liner. The Dofa, the Dofa applicator was able, was more than enough for me to line my lips. The only downside is the strong vanilla scent and the Dofa applicator isn't as spongy as I would like, but granted I'm just being nitpicky. So that is the only thing for 20 $22, is it worth it? To be really honest, if Sephora currently has a deal or if you want to wait a little longer for a sale of some sort, then go ahead and wait. I wouldn't say go run and get this, but I do love the shades. I think they did a really great job on their color selection for this collection. I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, but for $22, I do find it to be a little high. I would have preferred this to be around $18, to be really honest. But this is a basically, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you watched this video this far, thank you so much for watching this video this far. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Everything will be listed down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye!